KCP Dynamics Tips and Tricks Quick Pick Number Two System Created Entries Hello, my name is Michael Doheny, and during this quick tip, I would like to take a few minutes of your time to give you a quick tip about how to make system created entries. In the previous tips and tricks, Quick Pick One, we looked at how the direct posting checkbox on general ledger accounts can prevent balance discrepancies between the general ledger control account and the subsidiary ledger in Microsoft Dynamics NAV. This week's topic explores where to look when researching cases where control account and subledger detail balances are not in agreement. Our scenario is a continuation of the one used last week in the Cronus demonstration company. The balance for account 2310, customers domestic, does not agree to the aged accounts receivable reports as of the 31st of January 2017. The difference is $20,200. This is not a discrepancy you will see in the data provided with the Cronus company. The difference was created intentionally as an example and also to illustrate the process for researching and correcting the problem. The detail of the entry should look like this. Review the detailed trial balance in subsidiary ledger. The difference should be the amount of your posted entry. Now the first place to look when researching the balance difference is in the ledger entries posted to the general ledger account. One way to access the ledger entries is to open the general ledger account card and click the amount for the balance field. In my scenario, the amount is $595,825.43, as you see here. Upon clicking the balance field, the general ledger entry page displays. On the general ledger entries page, to limit the entries displayed to potentially find the cause of the balance discrepancy, you need to set a filter that includes more than one field. This type of filter is referred to as an advanced filter. In order to set the filter, you must first show the advanced filter option on the page. There are three methods you might use to display the advanced filter option. Press the keystroke combination Shift F3, click on the name of the page on the left, General Ledger Entries, then click Advanced Filter from the drop down menu. Click on the down arrow to the right of the quick filter. After executing any option, the screen refreshes to display the advanced filter as shown below. To set the criteria for the advanced filter, you must select the field and the value. In this case, we need to limit the entries displayed to account 2310 for entries posted from the 1st through the 31st of January 2017 with a system created entry value is no. Since we navigated to the ledger entries from the general ledger account, the first part of the filter for the GL account number is already set for us. To add the posting date filter, click the add filter icon to add a second line to the filter. Then in the field name, verify posting date is selected. If posting date is not selected, click the drop down arrow and make the selection as shown here. In the value field where enter a value displays, enter the date range for the period you're researching, the 1st through the 31st of January 2017, entered as 010117.0131117 when using US formatting for dates. Note that after the filter is added, the list page refreshes to include only those entries meeting the two filter values specified. Use the following steps to add the last filter and select the system created entry field. Click the add filter icon a new line is added to the advanced filter. Click the drop down in the field name, 
the drop-down menu for All Columns and Visible Columns displays. Click All under All Columns. A complete listing of available fields for the table displays. Scroll through the list using the down arrow icon at the bottom of the list to locate System Created Entry. You'll notice that the fields are in alphabetical order. Click to select System Created Entry and return to the field name. Once the System Created Entry field is added, the value needs to be specified. To do this, click the drop down in the value field where Select the Value displays and click Select the No checkbox as shown below. After setting this filter, the general ledger entries are filtered to match the criteria and, for this scenario, displayed as shown here, the page is personalized to make the information easier to review. The first two entries are matching debit and credit. Therefore, they are eliminated as the cause of the problem. However, the third entry is for a credit of $20,200, the exact amount of the difference. In order to reconcile the balances of the control account and the subsidiary ledger, an entry needs to be posted to the debit account 2310 for $20,200. That is the subject of the next tips and tricks, quick pick number three. In summary, when the control account and the subsidiary ledger accounts do not agree, reviewing the general ledger entries for the account and period to determine whether the system created entry field value is no for any entries in the recommended place to begin. However, this is not the only possible issue. For example, when the posting group is changed on a control account with open entries in the detailed trial balance and subsidiary ledger balances will not agree. Please check back for the next tips and trick quick pick number three to review the process of posting an entry to contract the control about balance. KCP Dynamics has a network of over 200 employees and consultants spanning five continents. We specialize in consulting, implementation, and training for Microsoft Dynamics NAV, AX, and CRM. Many vertical applications. We also offer technical support to thousands of users around the globe. Let us know how we can help you. These and other tips and tricks can be found on our website on our blog page. Thanks for checking in. Hope you come back and visit real soon.